Today we're going to be architects and we are going to design a house, but not just any house. We're going to design a 3D house using a two-point perspective. So the reason it's called a two-point perspective is because we are going to create two dots on either end of our paper to create two points that we will continue to reference. So I'm going to begin by making a straight line, a horizontal line across my paper a little bit lower than the middle of my paper, just like that. And I am going to make two dots on either ends, or you can make a line. And those are gonna be our two points that we are going to continue to reference. And now I am going to make a vertical line right in the center of my horizontal line. And I'm not gonna make it too tall, but I'm gonna make it just like that. And this is going to be the edge of our house. Okay, so now what I am going to do is I'm going to create two more lines and I am going to connect them to the outside points, to those referencing points. They are also called vanishing points because our lines will eventually look like they are vanishing or disappearing. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to go to the top edge of my house and I am going to draw a line to that vanishing point here and I'm going to do the same over here and I will do the same to the bottom always connecting to my vanishing points here and here so we have the edge of the house now we need to make the walls of the house so I'm gonna make it look like this is the front of my house. So I am going to make another vertical line and I'm gonna do it a little bit more to the right of the center because I'm gonna make this side of the house a little bit longer than the other side. So I am going to draw a line right here. And then on this side, I'm gonna make it just a little bit closer to that center edge and I'm gonna make a line right there. Okay, so now what I can do is I can erase this line in the middle of my house. And I can now think about the roof. So the roof, I am going to begin with finding the center of this wall here. And I can do that by creating an X and finding the center, or I could also do it by measuring it, and I can also do it just by eyeballing it. So I am going to eyeball it and say that the center is right about here, and I am going to make a taller line here for the roof. The roof is gonna come up to a triangle, so let's see, right about there, and I'm gonna come up pretty high, and this is going to be the side of my roof. So now I'm going to take this and I am going to connect it to my wall right here and I'm going to do the same to this side right here okay so now I need to make the front side of my roof and remember we need to go back to this vanishing point so I am going to take my ruler and I am going to connect the vanishing point to the roof, just like that. And even though my roof isn't gonna go all the way to here, I need to make sure that that angle always refers back to that vanishing point. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this edge of my roof, and I wanna make sure that it matches that angle. So I'm gonna take my ruler, and I'm just gonna find the angle there and I'm just gonna move my ruler right over here and I'm going to try and make that same angle just like that, okay? So now I have the beginnings of my house. I can erase some of these lines. Those are guidelines that help us, okay? And so now we have the basic house and now I wanna add some windows and possibly a door. So again, if I'm going to make my door here, I need to refer back to that vanishing point so that I get the right angle. So I'm gonna set my ruler down. I'm gonna put it right at that vanishing point and I can decide how tall or how short I want my door to be. I'm gonna make it about this tall. 
and I'm gonna make the line about that long, okay? And then I'm just going to make the sides of the door here and here. Okay, and you can see how that angle always goes back to that vanishing point or it's gonna go back to this vanishing point. And now I'm gonna do a window. So maybe I want my window to be a little bit taller than my door. So I'm gonna come back to that vanishing point and I'm going to do it here. And then I'm gonna come back to the vanishing point and then I'm gonna do the other part of the window a little bit lower. It's gonna be a nice big window. and then I can make my lines to connect it. Okay, so I have my door, I have my window. Now I can do the window on this side. So since it's on this side of the house, I'm going to refer to this point and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna to refer to that point. I like to put my pencil down and I'm gonna do just one big window over here and then move it down this way. One nice big window and connect it here and here. And I can erase any lines that I do not want. Okay, so I have my window, I have my door. I can also give it a chimney. So for my chimney, maybe I'm gonna put a chimney right up on top. I'm gonna to refer back to this vanishing point and I'm gonna make a line my guidelines that I will later remove. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here, connecting it, okay? And now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna make a line here and a line here. So this is going to be my chimney, okay? And then I'm just gonna make a line right there. All right, so I have a lot of lines here that I need to erase. So boys and girls, remember, we always draw light until we get it right. And we're gonna add some more things to it. I can add some details to the inside of my windows and doors. So I'm just gonna make a little line right here and a little line right there just to give it a, the window pane. Okay, and maybe a little window inside of the door to peek through, maybe a little bit higher. And you can add whatever you'd like. You're the architect, architects design buildings. So you can design your house however you like. You can even, I'm gonna erase some of these lines we don't need anymore and you can think about what you want to do to your roof maybe my roof has some aluminum siding and again you want to follow that same angle that you created there I'm going to erase this line here I can add a window there if I like but for now let's talk about at the background and the horizon line. So we have this line here. We're gonna keep this line right here. Okay, that's gonna be the horizon line. That's where the sky meets the land. And I am going to do a little wavy line on top, just like this. And in between that wavy line and straight line, I'm just gonna do a bunch of vertical lines. So it looks like they're trees and the way, way far away background. And these are the tree trunks. And then I could do the top of the trees, another little wavy line. And as things get farther away, they get a little blurrier, so you don't have to put too much emphasis on the details in the background. And maybe now we wanna make it look like there's a little walkway here, or maybe the edge of the street. So, if I were to continue with my vanishing point here, maybe my vanishing point would continue to go out. I am going to, I'm going to draw a line that comes out this way, okay? And then maybe the street kind of comes over here. I'm gonna do a little walkway. So I'm gonna do the walkway and I'm gonna have it get a little bit wider because as things get closer to us, they get bigger. 
So a little walkway just like that up to the front door. And I can think about some bushes that are here, some hedges. You can add any kind of landscaping that you like. And maybe over here in the foreground, I wanna make it look like there's a really nice big tree in the foreground. So I am going to do a really big tree. I'm gonna to have to erase some of the things inside of it so that I do my overlapping correctly. And maybe I can see just a few of the roots at the bottom of the tree and a few of the branches. I like to do like letter Y's and then I'm gonna make this tree really nice and big. It's gonna cover up some of my house because I want it to look like it's in the foreground. So it's really big and it's overlapping my house. And then maybe in the way, way background, I wanna make it look like there's beautiful mountains in the background. So maybe there is a hill here. There's no mountains in Miami, but we can pretend. <laughs> and maybe there's another rolling hill here and over here. And maybe I can make it look like there's a big cloud. So I just darkened it up so you can get a better look at it. And I added a few details so that you can see here, I just brought these lines a little bit lower to give that roof a more 3D look as well as this little piece right here just to make it look like that was the other side. Again, always making sure to go back to those vanishing points. So if it's on this side of the house, the vanishing point connects here. And if it's on this side of the house, the vanishing point came here. I did some siding on both sides of the house. I added some little window panes and a little flower box to each one. Some more windows, the number of the house, and some bushes and just some extra little lines to give it texture as well as some branches on the tree. So feel free to add as many different architectural elements that you like, have fun with it, have a great time doing your two-point perspective.